There's been a small development that may have involved Lord Newt last night. He's our prime suspect for a murder. The job will be dished out a briefing. I'm going to ask if it can be allocated to you, if that's okay. D'Angelo gave him a look of despair. He was up to his eyeballs already. Sure, he said, wincing. I know you're snowed under, but this may be a part of what you're working on already. Read the Dio case. Therefore, it makes sense for you to have it. Who's the victim? A celebrity photographer called Seb Maloney. Cirques, found in the dungeon of a private gentleman's club, naked, slashed with a knife from head to toe, minus his digits, including his todger, tied upside down to a large wooden wheel. What? It's a thing, apparently, except the death bit. Someone went too far. Clearly. What a way to go. How is it connected to Newt? The particular dungeon room was a favourite of Newt's. A friend arrived to visit Newt last night and found the victim alone and a knife. He reached into his open jacket, pulled out a knife exhibit tube and dropped it on D'Angelo's desk, pointing to the bag at the door. And that bag holds the clothing of the friend. He felt for a pulse, then hugged him. He knew the victim. He is exhibiting the items in a statement. Who called police? Fellow dungeon users heard his screams, piled out of their rooms and saw the friend leave. They couldn't call police as no phones allowed in the club. Bob the butler called it in. Bob the butler, repeated D'Angelo with a raised eyebrow, wondering if this was a wind-up. Yep, offered Nalem, stony-faced. He was serious. Do we have the friend, the witness? Yes, that's where it gets tricky. What, he's not supporting? He'll support, but he may not be a credible witness. D'Angelo saw the wince in Nalem's eye. Here we go. D'Angelo leaned back in his chair, ready for the bad news. Nothing was ever easy. Well, he's a child sexual abuse victim, come serial killer. He escaped from Belmarsh a few years into his sentence. He flew to Mexico with a prison warden, who is missing, and he allegedly died in a fire. He then turned up back in the UK helping an MI6 secret squirrel unit to get Newt and Dio's cronies. Seb was his friend from school. Newt was making threats in his direction to shut him up. He blames himself for Seb's death. D'Angelo sat open-mouthed. There's more, Nalem sighed. He and his MI6 unit are helping us with Dio's case. He brought in Jojo in the USB footage. They were cellmates in Belmarsh. D'Angelo put his hand to his head. So we have two non-credible witnesses, both in fear for their lives, both may retract or not support, one will certainly go back to prison, and both may not live long enough for court. He does have some sort of contract in place with MI6, stating if he helps with arrests he'll be exonerated, but I don't know how long that will last. Some of the names on Dio's contact list are among command here. He doesn't know that yet. His handler is being threatened to close the project down. A group of them are in hiding including the handler. Are we safe? If we carry on, possibly not. Oh, fuck. Yes. Oh, fuck, agreed Nalem. We haven't got any special ops boys called Jack, have we? 